was my first time in Beverly Hills. Yeah, I saw that. 84, 87, and then 94. But this place has changed a bit. What brings you back to 90210? Well, hello, Mr. Bacon. It's Gonzalo from a cartel in Spain. First of all, such a pleasure being here with you. And congratulations, because the movie, again, it's, it's so amazing. It's so funny. Thank you. Thank you. I like your jacket. Thank you. <laughs> uh, well, the first thing I want to ask you is precisely about the, this franchise, Beverly Hills Cop, because I want to know, in your opinion, what makes it so unique and so special that it can last more than 30 years? Axel Foley, the character of Axel Foley, um, <laughs> and the fact that Eddie plays him. You, you couldn't it's it's really that you want to keep seeing that that guy and seeing what he's up to next, and that applies to uh, this movie now. I mean, you 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 need you need that kind of character to want to come back and and see him again, and and the other thing that is kind of uh, timeless is the idea of being a fish out of water. You know, that's that's the that's the secret to to these movies you know here's a guy from detroit comes to beverly hills two different worlds you know he's got two different worlds and right we've got the same thing going again you know now and it just there's just something that's kind of infectious and, and works about that yeah i completely agree with you and it's very true this thing that uh, you you watch this movie and you don't have the feeling that it has been 30 years it's like time has never passed yeah so. that's true. yeah uh, the next thing I want to ask you is about your character, uh, because Axel Foley has faced some very different antagonists. But I would I would like to know what makes him so different, because uh, in my opinion, he's like one of the trickiest ones, probably of the of the whole franchise. Uh, well, I think the fact that he's a Beverly Hills cop is, you know, kind of um, interesting, and yeah. uh, and you know, he's someone that is actually sort of trying to find trying to find they might not have common ground but he's trying to find common ground with Axel he's trying to you know kind of say hey listen we're just we're cut from the same cloth you know we're a couple of old war horses you know we I, you know and I know we've been through it you know what I mean he's he's kind of playing that that angle and of course it's you know it's he's completely misguided and they're very different people and come from very different worlds and have really very little in common other than the fact that they're cops. Yeah, that's actually, that's a great role. So congratulations for that. Uh, now I want to ask you about uh, something that is usually, nowadays is very common in Hollywood, in my opinion, well, I guess in general opinion, which is nostalgia, because uh, what do you think is happening nowadays that uh, we have so many prequels, sequels, remakes. Uh, how do you see it? Well, uh, on one hand, I'm always interested and supportive of people that are creating new content. Um, on the other hand, I do think that part of the nostalgia is for a simpler time and even a time where uh, we weren't a pre-digital age before we were able to dig digitally create whole worlds and monsters and superheroes and, and, and creatures and all that kind of stuff. You know, there's a, Beverly Hills Cop is, is this, this, this movie, it's, they're real, they're real stunts, you know, they're, they're, they're real people. They're not, they don't have superpowers, you know, they're, they're just trying to survive or get the bad guy, you know, and, and there's something that's like, just kind of satisfying to, about that for audiences yeah i agree with you uh okay i have to wrap up uh i would love to ask you a lot of things about this movie but uh, again it's been such a pleasure and congratulations because i guess i think the fans will find this, this movie so so funny so thank you so much thank you have a nice day you too we're gonna need some backup whoa what are you doing i'm getting us some backup God, I miss two axles.